Hi guys, uh, it's been a while. Uh, let's talk about Flux uh, for a little bit today. Uh, this is just going to be a quick video. Uh, I made this video to showcase a quick comparison uh, between different samplers and schedulers in Flux model. Uh, Flux is truly amazing and so uh, shows so much potential. Uh, so I thought it would be helpful to create a reference guide that you can refer to when you're choosing a, the best settings for your specific prompt. I mean, of course, even the smallest change can you know impact the final result, but at least this gives you a solid baseline to work. Uh, throughout this video, I'm testing different settings. Uh, for some uh, prompts, I'm randomizing the seed and steps, uh, and for some, I'm only randomizing the sampler and scheduler. So please pay, pay attention to um, the caption of uh, all these images. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. Uh, I'm using the Flux Dev uh, checkpoint uh, for all these, and uh, I'm going to include the workflow uh, as well if you want to download and play with it. Uh, just FYI. All right, so this one is actually uh, interesting. Uh, as you see in some images, more steps can bring out more details and uh, refine the image, uh, and sometimes can change uh, things and uh, change the things that I don't necessarily uh, want to change, and it's a little compromise. Um, for example, I, I like the robotic arm in 15 steps, but it gets more more subtle, more, it gets more like human-like as you go through more steps. Uh, that's why it's important, I guess, to test all of them. Uh, also, I like how Euler plus DDIM uh, uniform uh, just created more accurate proportions for the bottle, uh, you know, comparing to the size of the, the human uh, uh, body. Uh, but yeah, so like you know, it's important to pay attention to different combinations and see how they can. I also created uh, a couple of workflows that incorporate uh, ControlNet and IP adapter with Flux. Uh, you can find the link on newslounge.co, my latest post. Uh, but please uh, subscribe and I'll send you the, the link.
So I think uh, out of all of them, I like this combination of uh, Euler and DDIM uniform. So I want to see other images uh, with this combination. So I'm going to keep the settings and randomize the, the seed for eight or nine images uh, to see the to see you know, what what else you know, we can get out of this. Um, so here we go. All right, uh, let's see. Yeah, these are all super cool. Uh, actually, I want to uh, run some tests with my with uh, control nets to later, uh, specifically with some of my CG renders as the source. So, I'll let you guys know. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks for watching. I think uh, that's it for today. So, I guess I'll catch you guys later.